With each day of wildfires, our air seems to get worse and worse. A lot of unhealthy air quality on this map today. KPIX5 morning anchor Len Keys spoke to a UCSF pulmonary expert about what the smoke could mean for our health. Joining us now to talk about health impacts of all of this smoky air is Dr. Michelle Johnson. Dr. Johnson, let's talk about what people should not do with another day of this bad air. Thank you for having me. So people should um, try to limit their amount of exposure to this bad air. So some of the things that they should not be doing, they should not be outside if they don't have to, um, and that uh, and they should be especially careful to take care of people who have high risk for lung disease and make sure that they um, not be outside if at all possible as well. What about cumulative effects of having to deal with unhealthy air for so many days in a row, some places not getting much of a break day to day? Hopefully this amount of bad air won't last for, won't last for months on end because when they have looked at the long-term effects of this type of stimulant and irritant to the airways over months, this can lead to things like increased respiratory diseases, increased heart disease, increase in strokes, and even instances of premature death. And you mentioned those people more at risk, but we have seen healthy people running or biking in these conditions. What do you say to those folks? Anytime there is a lot of smoke and particulate matter in the air from the wildfires, that's just increasing the amount of irritation to your airways. And so in these situations, I understand the need to want to get outside and to exercise, but um, try to limit that if possible. And if you must be outside, please wear a mask. The best type of mask to wear to protect you from this type of particulate matter are the N95 masks that we have spoken about with um, COVID. But we're hoping that you have the, that you limit um, purchasing those masks so that our healthcare providers and our um, essential workers who work directly with COVID positive patients can get those masks. Well, Dr. Johnson says if you have air conditioning, be sure to use it on the internal air cycle. If you don't have AC, some counties are offering clean air centers that you can go to.